beginning so far as far as civilization is concerned is certainly you know Kemet. I, I mean you you can you can speak of Ethiopia but then you have to de define e Ethiopia in t in terms of is it all all of Africa um, um, does Ethiopia yeah. include Egypt or or is Ethiopia then Abyssinia and so on and so forth but those are details we don't have to discuss at, at this particular point I mean uh, you know I I know what you're saying and I think everybody knows what what you're saying um, there needs to be certainly more inclusion of of the the, the other civilization shall we say they may be derivative and some may not be derivative some may be original in their in their own right uh, you know in a different geographical setting within the continent because certainly we know we have a vast uh, uh, continent that um you know cert certainly you know china uh, europe and america can fit in the continent with a little mm -hmm. bit of for japan so you know it's huge and and and, and you know all of our civilizations didn't necessarily have to start with Nile Valley, or they may have started outside Nile Valley and gotten into Nile Valley, and, and you know and, and may not have been connected to Nile Valley at all. But you know, um, yeah, I think you know this better better than I do. But but it's important to to um to understand that the studies have to be broad based and broad based in terms of, of geography and civilization within the continent and broad based in terms of um, not simply looking at history from the perspective of, of dates and, and numbers and a straight sort of a, a, a timeline, but, mm -hmm. but um, uh, in, involving the, the educational process uh, around our, our culture and cultural contributions and traditions over mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you, you just mentioned something that's extremely important, the whole business of, of, of language and, mm -hmm. and, and, and when did writing start, <laughs> you know, um, we, uh, um, <laughs> while I'm taking you back to Egypt and pyramid texts and so on in terms mm -hmm. of 3000 BC, but mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's, that's also, you know, uh, 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 significant um, to point that out in terms of the it being an, um, an antecedent um, by thousands of years mm -hmm. uh, in terms of development elsewhere mm -hmm. and, and, and being being the, 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 the source of mm -hmm. development elsewhere, I, either because of, of education, people coming in to educate, or because of migration. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's, that's uh, significant to understand Mm -hmm. Just the population dynamics of the world, mm -hmm. but the intellectual and and um, uh, uh, um, sociological, uh, uh, you know, I want to say spiritual, and and I suppose I should, or as opposed to religious. But if you dig deep at you know what is behind, and let's say the Hindu religion, you really you really go back, shall we say, to 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 Vedanta. And 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 and, and um, it, you know um, the Samka uh, uh, philosophy, um, mm -hmm. and, and, and you go to, to Buddhism, and and and, and you, you you trace that through 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 India in, into Tibet, into China, and into the Japan, and and you see the influence of African thought because you know you, you and I know that Buddha was one of us. You know all the the early um, um, Images, shall we say, of Buddha, you know, <laughs> children with, with curly hair or complexion and features and so on and so forth. Later on, of course, um, you know, Asians um, added, you know, Asian features, but they kept, you know, the, the, the curly hair as, as, as being symbolic in, in most of their uh, images. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm saying in a long winded way that history, uh, not just history, but the whole world has been turned on its head, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, upside down. And mm -hmm. that's where we are now, because this whole concept of everything started with Greece and with Rome, mm -hmm. uh, um, and, 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 and following that in terms of a direct timeline, oh. and everything before that is, is primitive. And you get these, these definitions of, of, of animism, of, 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 of paganism, of, of, of primitivism mm -hmm. and, and, and you know on and on the derogative statements 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when the history has been re rewritten, and not, not only the history has been, been rewritten, but then it has been re rewritten with such ignorance, because mm -hmm. total lack of understanding, uh, even by so many of the, the great Egyptologists and so many of these sociologists who mm -hmm. have gone to Africa and have supposedly studied, you know, people in the villages or what have you. But mm -hmm. they've done all of this from the perspective of ignorance. Mm -hmm. And I say that be, 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 because, again, you get back to the European understanding of what is humanly possible. And the only thing they know that's humanly possible is information coming through the five senses and an intellect then that, deal with that deals with that information you know, mm -hmm. it, you know, through, through, through logic. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that is the epitome of civilization. Mm -hmm. That's simply a, a narrow uh, portion of, of what reality is. And mm -hmm. Africans have always known this, and Africans have always manifested this, this greater understanding, we, we, because there's, there's always been, if you want to call it a sense, you can call it a sixth sense, but there's always been the understanding that we were not different from nature, and mm -hmm. we were one with nature. And, and you go again, uh, it, it's, it's easier certainly for me to go back uh, to Kemet and, uh, and talking about Alsar and Alsar, you know, being, being um, the, 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 the son of Ra. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is the identity with God. And Alsar, of course, was the ideal human being from the African perspective. So, so, so we are one with our creation. How can you be one with your creation? It's clearly not a physical one. It's a spiritual one. So if you're a spiritual one, then uh, then uh, the the oneness that you participate in has mm -hmm. you, know, you have to have access to it, and it it has to have access to you. So mm -hmm. you get to a, universe, a unified field as as, mm -hmm. as a universal space, and mm -hmm. so this this is intrinsic to Africa, if, you know, for ten thousand years, and and it's only coming into an understanding of Europe. You know, within the last few years, if you will, 50 years or so, mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and, and it's not been integrated into philosophy, it's, it's not been integrated in, in, into religion, it's not been integrated into sociology or, or ethics. So, you know, uh, this is why everything is chaotic, I think, within the European uh, situation. And mm -hmm. I'm saying this to say that Africa and Africans a need to, to have that transformation of mind, of mindset, and, and to be able to, to go back to an understanding. And this is why, again, I validate, shall we say, Kemet, because that's where it was first promulgated. And I think mm -hmm. that's what you can see it in some sense in its purest uh, form, if you understand the hieroglyphics and the symbolism. You have to mm -hmm. understand the symbolism and you have to understand the fact that um, much of what was, was, was taught was taught allegorically as the best way to transmit information, certainly in terms of something that, that was of a spiritual uh, 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 nature and couldn't really be expressed in words because there's no words for certain things that are beyond the, the intellect and, and really related simply to direct experience. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to that and, and we have to have an understanding that there's a clear a difference and a clear division that that was primary. Mm -hmm. I mean, Europeans like to go back to Plato, Plato, and 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 talk about the cave and so on and so forth. But Plato didn't have the, the proper un understanding of of the Kemetic uh, uh, philosophy, and and then mm -hmm. they, they go forward again to people like you know Plotinus and and what have you, and and Hermeticism, as if to say. Those things are Greek, and they did not come, you, you know, uh, 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 from uh, uh, Africa. But then mm -hmm. those things also were demonized within within Europe, and, mm -hmm. and promulgated those ideas. Again, they were if they were religious, they were burned at the stake, you know, or they had to retract. And even if they were scientists, as you know, people like Galileo and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. um, you know, because the religion. Um, that developed uh, um, uh, in, in Europe, certainly since 325 or whatever, Council of Nicaea, and then later on Chalcedon and what have you. 
that that said you know anyone who does not subscribe to our dogma mm-hmm. here they should be anathemized if you will and you know what that means meaning destroyed mm-hmm. and that's exactly what they did they destroyed anybody who did not um, espouse the dogma and therefore have the faith and, mm-hmm. and and they developed a religion that was based on dogma and and, and faith and externalized with an anthropomorphic uh, conception of God who is separate from uh, the, the earth and, and, and separate from, from us as human beings. Mm-hmm. The concept. But that is what has made, and, again, and you can look the same thing in terms of, of philosophy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, philosophy should be about wisdom. Now, what is wisdom? Uh, mm-hmm. the, you know, wisdom has to be something that you have experienced in terms of, of actually knowing. And it certainly has to go back at least to Gnosis, G-N-O-S-I-S, which is a direct way of knowing, not mm-hmm. an intellectual knowing. Mm-hmm. Whereas the philosophy that has come down to us in terms of the European sense is about the intellect, and it's about speculation, and it's about mm-hmm. dialectic uh, argumentation, and it mm-hmm. can never discover truth. So you have mm-hmm. a philosophy that can't discover truth. You have a religion that that does not... That, um, uh, you, you cannot achieve salvation through the religion. Uh, mm-hmm. You can only sal- achieve salvation through through the dogma, and and uh, uh, hopefully some external force will help you, so, mm-hmm. such as the, the, the Pope or the Church or you know the confessions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you're going to get your goodies in the hereafter. I mean, mm-hmm. all of those things separate you from yourself, and they're, they're artificial and they're confusing. Mm-hmm. And, and and I think you know this is exactly what you see. Europe is confused. Uh, I but mean, where is where is the basis for ethics and values when you're committing genocide? I think you know mm-hmm. how can genocide be be right? I mean, it's there's not jumping there's not jumping no that can be right. Yes, please, because I'm getting carried away with myself a little bit. Yeah, the the, the main issue here is um there has been enough work done by enough scholars to put together the counter curriculum that you're talking about. Um, With the work that has been published on Ma'at, with the work that's been published on African spirituality and so on, there's enough to frame it. But what it is, is people actually putting pen to paper on one hand and then making it the basis of u- university curricula on the other hand, that's what will produce the change. And we don't really have an excuse because if you consider the Portland model stuff was 1989, I seem to remember, that's a long time ago. In other words, uh, we had 40 years to build on that material 40 years to take that material and this material is available for free online you know um so it's a situation where the transformation of what is taught uh to our next generation we've had an opportunity we haven't used that opportunity we haven't exploited that opportunity and what i'm calling on is for the pan-african community the conscious community whatever term they want to use to to avail themselves of this information to make the kind of intellectual changes that you're talking about so that we don't get into this but what the europeans teach is wrong what the europeans teach is wrong what the europeans teach is wrong no this is what we're teaching mm-hmm. and we have to empower ourselves to do this because as i've said before Black history is interesting. Black studies is revolutionary. You see, once you can change the teaching of all the subjects, you now have intellectual revolution.